Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 14th of October, Wednesday of the week of Pentecost 19. The reading, Evelyn Underhill, 1875, 1941, from The House of the Soul. The spiritual life constantly offers its neophytes the equivalent of all these temptations of Christ. There are those who think first of their own spiritual hunger and the imperative duty of feeding their own souls, for whom the spiritual life means spiritual privilege, who defy common sense, take foolish risk, and call the proceedings trust in God. Those who accept methods of recommending religion, which are something less than spiritual, and call this dealing with the conditions of modern life. All these courses in their different ways may seem prudent and all wilt away before the selfless prudence of Christ. That picture in its austere majesty and loneliness forces the soul to consider how much disguised self-interest how much irresponsibility, how much inclination to compromise, hang about its ground floor and impede the purity of its choice for God, for the inner spring which, which governs all truly prudent choice is such a generous, general, and self-oblivious surrender as overrules mere personal preference can envision with equal calmness apparent failure and apparent success, and ignores even its own spiritual advantage. The New Testament contains no single instance in which our Lord sought or obtained a private spiritual advantage. The prayer Hilary of Poitiers, P-O-I-T-I-E-R-S, 315-367. Thou splendid giver of the light, by whose serene and lovely ray, beyond the gloomy shades of night, is opened wide another day. But clearer than the sun may shine all light and day in thee, I find, to fill my night with glory fine and purify my inner mind. Fill with thy spirit every sense that God's divine and gracious love may drive satanic tempting sense and blight their falsehoods from above. That in the acts of common toil which life demands of us each day, we may, without a stain or soil, live in thy holy laws alway. This hope is in my praying heart. These are my vows, which now I pray that this sweet light may not depart, but guide me purely through the day. Amen.